Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Wishing you all a happy Shugo Nobu Borsho. I just want to wish you guys a happy new year, especially a happy Bengali new year. And also to those celebrating this new year, such as Punjabis and all the Tamilians out there, wishing you all a very, very happy new year. And without further ado, we're going to go right into the tutorial. This is obviously inspired by the Shugo Nobu Borsho look. And I know today is Shibunaba Borsho and I was running late, but I'm so sorry guys. I had so much exams to do. I wanted to catch up on those before I jump onto this video today. So first thing first, I always like to moisturize my face. For that, I have Pixi Glow Moisturizer. This is really, really hydrating. Today's foundation, I'm using a very unique foundation. This is the Milani Cosmetics Foundation. I have bought this foundation a long time ago, but I have only used it a couple of times. I don't really remember me using it on a YouTube tutorial but I definitely love this foundation as you can see the coverage is amazing it glides onto your face really beautifully giving you that full coverage look and it blended so well with my skin color by the way guys I want to let you guys know I'm actually NC42 in MAC in winter time and NC44 in summertime right now I am on the winter shade so NC42 and the shade that I'm using by Milani Cosmetics is in the shade tan now for my cream highlight and contour I'm going to be using the new NYX can't stop won't stop concealers the two shades that I'm using to highlight are called natural tan and the other one it's called beige so I'm mixing up two colors because one has a little bit of that tone that matches mine which is the natural tan and then I also have the beige which is a couple shade lighter than my skin which helps bring light to my face and giving my face that dimension that I always wanted and using the same brush that I've used for my foundation, I'm going to be using the same brush to blend that contour, sorry, highlight as well. Now the brush I'm using it is actually in 34 and it's a brush from Sephora. This is from the Sephora's own brand and it is in the sh number 34. The next for contouring uh, I'm using Deep Cool. So this is also by the next Can Stop. Uh, can't stop one stop concealer oh my god I can't speak today can't stop one stop concealer and this is also by NYX cosmetics and it is in the shade deep cool and also when blending it out I'm using the same brush that I've just used to blend out my highlight and as you probably can tell this brush is the best when it comes to blending out your you know contour highlight and also your foundation the next thing I'm obviously going to do is bake my face. For that I'm using my Morphe new brush that I've just got. And also for the powder that I'm using here is by Inglot. And it is in the number 14. This is their loose powder. It does have a tiny little bit of that shade. It's really not like completely translucent. But that's fine because you know what? It's always nice to have that light shaded powder right underneath your eyes and all the highlighted areas. Because it has a little bit of that hint of color to it and it's not really trans translucent, it works out perfectly for entire areas of my face because it doesn't leave so much of that color. Now, as you can see, I've already just placed that powder and I'm already taking it off. Like, I literally let it sit down there for maybe a minute. And next, what I'm doing here is I'm actually applying NC42 um, Studio Fix Powder to the rest of my face. What happens here is, you know, like instead of placing the contour powder right onto the cream contour, I'm basically allowing the NYX 42 to create that transition before I go on and place my darker shade powder. For contour today, I'm using Hula Bronzer by Benefit Cosmetics. I don't know why, but recently I've been loving this Hula Bronzer. As you can tell by the palette, it's already like touching the pan. I'm obsessed with this Hula Bronzer and I love it. I love it when I use it as my contour powder and not just a bronzer. Now for blush, I've mixed two different blushes by Milani Cosmetics. One is called the Dolce Pink, another one is called the Rose Dioro. These two are my all-time favorite, especially when I'm doing brides and stuff because it has a perfect shade of corally color. And also it has a little bit of shine to it. Now for my highlight, I'm using Skin Frost by 
Jeffree Cosmetics and it is in the shade Siberian Gold and as you can see the color is absolutely stunning and you will see by the end of the video once this highlight kind of melts into your skin and blends all together it's gonna look so stunning so you will see by the end of the video how this highlighter looks like the perfect thing about this makeup for that I did today was actually its highlighter the highlighter game that I've used is amazing now to set all of that powder, obviously I've sprayed my face with some makeup setting spray and that's by KISS New York product. Now for my brows, I'm going to be using Benefit Cosmetics uh, Brow Wiz and it is in the shade 04. And here I'm just going to brush my brows with the spoolie side. Moving on to the eyeshadow, my favorite berries and cream eyeshadow palette by Dominic Cosmetics. And I absolutely love her as well and I follow all her YouTube tutorials too. I just, I'm obsessed with her. The first color, very straightforward, I've used this color which is, which is going to be my transition color. It's called Soft and Sweet. Today's eyeshadow, I'm pretty much going to be using this palette only and there's a lot of blending that's involved with this eyeshadow because you know, you don't want basically, the today's look is not like a harsh look, it's pretty blended. The next color that I picked is called Chocolate Mousse. It's a really, really beautiful color. And as you can see, I've created that outer V shape and I'm also sort of bringing it to the lower outer part of my eyes. The brush that I'm using is also by Morphe. I'm going to list down all the brush details down below in the trend, on the description box. Oh my gosh, something is really wrong with me. I cannot speak today. Like, I've been stuttering and stammering while speaking. I could be, like, really tired because I actually worked on a few clients today um, before I started doing this voiceover. But I'm super excited to actually release this video, so I hope you guys really, really enjoy this tutorial. And now again, I'm going to blend all that harsh lines together into my crease using a blending brush. Moving on to the next color, which is the goldish color, and it's called Honey Dipped. And as you can see, once it glides onto the lid, it looks stunning. I love it. The next color is called Sugar Cookie, which is a beautiful like vanilla shade shimmery color. I'm going to use that on my inner corners of both eyes and also right underneath my brow bone. This color is also super duper pigmented. I just love this palette, how pigmented this palette is. It's amazing. I would say definitely a good job by Dominic Cosmetics. The next thing I'm going to do is put on some mascara for that I've used. Snapscara by Maybelline in shade black. And I'm applying that mascara on the bottom eyes and my top eyes as well. And you can see there's already a lift on my eyes. And it looks much open and it looks really beautiful. Now to top it up with some more mascara, I'm using Premium Lashes by Morphe. This is in number, oh, sorry, it's actually called Hypnotic. So there's no really number to it, it's just called Hypnotic and that's it. It's a really beautiful pair of lashes I would say. Uh, Morphe store has just opened up at Square One if you guys are living in Canada in Mississauga. Um, you know where Square One is and I have been going there like non-stop because I love their lashes. Now time for some lipstick. For that I've used my Maybelline liquid lipstick. The first one that I'm using to outline my lips, it's called Pioneer. It's a beautiful tomato blood red kind of color. And then I'm just putting this Color Girl Heroine in number 25. This is an orangey red. I don't like to use orangey red directly, uh, including my outer lines as well. So I always like to put it on the inner part so it looks more like a, you know, ombre lips kind of look. 
So now I've just used some more setting spray to make sure everything stays in place and I've now applied some bindis. You know, Point La Bouchard look is never complete without its bindi or deep as we call it. I absolutely love this whole look to be honest. I started this makeup look with really nothing in my mind. I just went with the flow and I'm absolutely in love with this. Now these earrings are called Bahubali earrings or something and I bought it from Hidden Pearls Boutique. I will link down their Instagram below on the description box for you guys to have a look. But yeah, this completes the entire look guys. And also by the way, my contact lenses are from Fresh Look and they're called Sterling gray so they have a hint of blue in them so that's it guys so that wraps up the entire look for today i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and i hope you guys get to recreate this look for the poil of boshak which is today and if you guys are celebrating anytime during the weekends let me know and if you guys happen to recreate this please do this look is just perfect for even durga pujas poila boishak besakhi and even in many other occasions this is a very wearable look because it's beautiful gold eyes with you know paired with beautiful red lips i think a very universal look i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for tuning in please hit the subscribe button and also the notification button which is like the bell icon on the top and yeah till then see you next time on my next video take care